I started talking. As soon as I pick up my sticks, the groove just floods through me. I think a good cellist has to feel the music and feel like the true meaning. Oh, here's the swan, something's happening. It's about a swan traveling through the water. It's really graceful. closely. Oh no, I think something's really happening now. Oh no, it's okay. I think Saint-Saëns was trying to put a whole bunch of feelings together, sad and happy at the same time. In some parts, the swan is doing something not so sad, like gliding through the water. And then all of a sudden, it's starting to cry. struggles to get on the shore. Oh no, he's starting to really die now. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just one of those false alarms and then it starts to hit you. Lots of people say that I express the music really well, and everybody thinks that's the best part of me. I just play guitar all the time. I even get up extra early just so I can touch my guitar. Got my mojo working, but it's just gonna work on you. Some of my favorite artists are all posted in this room. Hank Williams, Chuck Berry, Johnny Cash, The Beatles. I love you so bad. I just don't know what to do. Well, if I wear glass and music was filled inside of me, music would be overflowing. I 
I play jazz. Jazz is not a little kid's music at all. Also, I play Latin jazz music. I just feel that Latin music is in my body. My mom grew up in an absolutely Puerto Rican community and I've known Spanish all my life and I feel like it's part of me. Now check that out. It's totally fantastic. My parents do not play music. <laughs> My dad likes to say, we don't make music, we make musicians. rehearsals after school. And I have to practice so that I can play performances. I spend a lot of time a week playing music. My parents really want me to be a kid and not just play music all the time. But I would say I'm very serious about music. first met God and I seen him just running around like any little seven-year-old until he strapped on the accordion. And once he strapped the accordion on, he just like transformed into this serious musician. Garland got started at the age of two. His dad bought him a little toy accordion 
And he would play with it, get upset because he couldn't get it to do what he wanted it to do, and he would throw it, and I think we went through about seven or more. And then one day, something came out of it. From that day on, Gallon's been on it. A seven-year-old playing that, is it an accordion? Accordion. That's really awesome. You know how uh, the accordion is so heavy and stuff? Well, he's got those big old arms like that big just to hold him up. It's cool that he can play that because he's so little. He looks like he has fun. And he plays tight. How do you always get up there, no nervousness and stuff? How you do that? When, when I f first started playing, I was kind of shy, but the second day when I went, it wasn't. As already. <laughs> the only time you can keep him in check is when he has that accordion in his neck. Take the accordion out of his neck is just like taking a leash off a pup and phew. He's gone, man. Come here, Garland. Where is he? Where is he? I mean, he's in the something. Sure. <laughs> oh, golly, that's a beautiful shot. Can I, like, put my hand in the water and catch one? Ooh, look at that one! Oh, oh! Oh, oh! <laughs> Oh, this is just Friday night, isn't it? Garland, are you excited? Yes, sir. Oh, that ought to be really great. I'm going to go. Which is your first song going to be, Garland? Little Boy. Little Boy? That must be your favorite. Are you going to sign this for me? Ooh, my first signed poster. What you got going on this weekend? Play at Slim Waikiki. Slim Waikiki? You know, that place has been there since the early 40s. I know your grandpa been there, even now, your uncles. Keeping that tradition going, G. That's a good thing, man. Keep it going. Garland's great-grandfather was Delton Broussard, who was a famous musician. He played throughout the world. Was he a cardinal player? That's where you learned to play? Mm-hmm. Yeah. One time when I was sleeping, and he came up in my dreams. He had brought me outside and gave me his accordion, and I just started playing. Garland never met his great papa, but he would come up with these little songs, uh, like uh, my papa showed me how to play the notes. In his little mind, it's like my dad is really there with him. You know, that's a little bit of ooh stuff happening here, you know, it's, 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 it's good voodoo. <laughs> right about now, from Southwest from Indiana, from, from your hometown, Lord, have mercy. The great, great grandson of the late great Judge Bruce on, y'all. He's carrying the legacy of my dad. I feel very proud to have that part of my dad live on. I really do. Hey, Garland, come on. He want everybody on their toes. You know, he might slide all over the stage, he might dance, or he might start where the whole band's got to follow him. And then I can say, God, please let me know when he's getting away from this. I'll know what to do.
the world with my music. Please don't melt our glaciers. Please don't kill us all. Please don't destroy our atmosphere. The sun will kill us all. Global warming. It's not just a prediction anymore. It's not just a prediction anymore. My name is Tyler, I am 10 and I play the trumpet. Ready guys? Ready to do that? Yeah. Well, it started with me playing the trumpet with my mom and dad. Then, my brother joined in with us. And then, my sister started learning the tuba and now we have a band. <laughs> the Lindsay Brass Band. Okay, color has to be out. Very good. When all of a 
folks are practicing it. For one thing, it's pretty noisy. All of our neighbors hear it. Pretty much I like playing with my family, but most of all, I love playing jazz. <laughs> I like jazz because I get to improvise. It's sort of more like building, creating. Tyler would just keep playing. And that's when his foot started going. His right foot it never back stopped. And forth. I'm like, did you teach him that foot thing? Yeah. He can't stop it. It just goes. He tries and it just goes. Sometimes I just don't want to stop playing. They would let me have a play all night. drum is the djembe. It's from West Africa, and I represent Africa if this is around. The thing I like least about this drum, it's so heavy you won't believe it. No. Which one you want to carry? My right. drum. All right. Can you make it all the way up here? Rocky. I was walking up these three flights of stairs with my brother and my father to get to the top. Oh my gosh. It's all in your mind. Mind over matter. I did it. Ah! You the man. Okay. Let's warm up a little. Two, three, and. The thing is that once you start playing, you can put all your feelings into it. And my father said, like, just let it flow. Don't let anything distract you. Just let it flow. I can make music with anything, actually. Music's everywhere.
you got to find the music and the beat inside yourself. It could just come out of you without you knowing that it was all in you all that time. I got the music in me. I got the music in me. 